This upcoming school year, the state will provide healthy school lunches to all students for free. In November, Colorado voters passed Proposition FF. This is changing how free lunches are distributed in K-12 public schools. Now all students will get free lunches instead of only students in need. It's being paid for by limiting state income tax deductions for the top 3% of Colorado income earners, which are people who make more than $300,000 a year. Districts do have to opt into that program though. Yeah, what local district is sharing how the process works and some of the challenges they faced in Woodland Park, the superintendent told us today the biggest challenge, making sure they could continue working with their third party food vendor. That company had to prove to the state it could provide the number of meals needed to make sure every student is fed. Families will, will be able to take advantage of hot lunches and breakfasts. Uh, they'll be accounted for on just an accounting system that tallies it up and then we'll submit to the state for reimbursement, at, I think on a monthly basis. An important note for families who currently qualify for free or reduced meals, you'll still want to apply for these programs again next school year because those applications are used to approve families for things like discounted transportation services, class materials, extracurricular activities. District 20, District 11, they tell us they've also opted in. As we previously reported, more than 60,000 children in Colorado cannot afford a school meal. That's according to Colorado Springs nonprofit Food to Power. They also say those who cannot afford school lunch do not currently qualify for free or reduced price lunches. On top of that, they found two out of every five Colorado families struggle to put food on the table for their children.